Welcome to this third video in the Checkpoint Tech Bytes video series on deployment options. If you routinely re-image Checkpoint gateways then you may be looking for a way to streamline the process. Today you can install the base image, script the basic network configuration, configure the product and install the latest updates using the isomorphic tool or a new tool called Blink. Blink is a faster way to deploy Checkpoint gateways with the latest hotfix and signatures. Let's see how you can use Blink to create a gateway that includes hotfixes and the network and product configuration you want in as little as 5 minutes. Locate Blink on the support side and download up to 3 files, the Blink utility, the gateway image and optionally the update package for that version. Two files are required, the utility and the image. All of the files are delivered in TGZ format. Blink is designed to run unattended. The ultimate unattended installation is to plug a USB flash drive into a new appliance that already has R80.10 and take 462 or above. If the Blink image and updates package are on the drive, and the first time wizard hasn't been run yet, then Blink launches automatically in a plug and play fashion. If you want to run it manually, then copy the files to a target appliance that is set to factory defaults. This can be done using a USB drive or SCP. Create a directory in slash var slash log where there is usually ample space. Mount the USB drive, copy the files. Untar the Blink utility. If needed change the execute permissions and run Blink. That's it. When finished Blink reboots the appliance. Connect to the appliance with a web browser and a Blink first time wizard launches. Fill in the form and click go. Log in again and your appliance has the latest updates already installed. Let's dive a bit deeper to see how you can customize your Blink install. Notice in this example run all of the arguments are optional. Most of the optional Blink arguments specify the path where files are located. By default the Blink utility extracts the image TGZ contents to the varlog Blink launcher files directory. Change the output directory with the dash T flag. Notice that Blink verifies the file integrity and then launches Blink installer. Blink installer is the main executable in the image that does the work of creating a new current snapshot. The image also includes an empty blade updates directory. This is the placeholder for the optional updates TGZ file contents containing the latest CPU's engine, application control signatures and thread emulation engine. Any user updates like user shell scripts included as a TGZ file are placed in the user updates directory. The installation logic directory includes an answers.xml file. Copy and modify this to skip the blink first time configuration wizard and set the basic device configuration. Invoke your own answers.xml with a dash A flag. In the Blink support page is an example. In the machine configuration section, set perform to true. Otherwise the file is ignored. The other fields are fairly self-explanatory. Review the element definitions if you have questions, for instance on how to set the password to a hash instead of clear text. In the user updates section of the answers file is the default name of the shell script install content.shell. Create your own, pack it in a TGZ file and invoke it with the dash U flag. Understanding snapshots is key to understanding how Blink works. Checkpoint appliances come with a factory default snapshot. This isn't visible in the Clash show snapshots command, but can be seen in expert mode using the LVS command. When Blink runs, it replaces the current snapshot and leaves the factory default and user snapshots in place. After a Blink run you can still revert to the factory default snapshot with the Clash set fcd revert command. The Blink default is to not save the current image as a user snapshot. If you like, use the dash dash keep hold partition flag to override this. If you have an appliance that has already had the first time wizard run, then you may want a user snapshot. If you override the Blink first time wizard check using the dash dash reimage flag, then Blink creates a user snapshot. If you don't want a user snapshot add the dash dash delete old partition to override the default reimage behavior. That's about it for arguments to the Blink utility. With the dash x flag the utility extracts the files, but does not run Blink installer to complete the installation. This is for advanced users who want to customize the image. Blink installer has a couple of flags if you want to check the status of the Blink run. 
Important log files are status.txt and the .elg file in the var log blink directory with the timestamp of the blink run. For errors relating to the processing of your answers file check the ftw underscore cli.log file in the tmp directory. Finally, in your answers file change the default logging levels and set the log level shown to the screen or sent to syslog during the blink run. That's blink in a nutshell. The only thing that remains is how you will use blink. For some examples please visit our Checkmates user community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.